World War III just came out with a brand new audio update. Now, the sounds are good, but this video isn't about that at all. I wanted to see how everything played on our new Air GPU and Shrine cloud gaming machines. How similar are they, and did they give us any issues? Let's get into the details. We recently purchased the mid-tier machines of both platforms because they are the closest to the performance of a shadow machine. And guess what? They both had the exact same hardware profile. An AMD EPYC 7R32 processor and a Radeon Pro V520. The only real difference is that the Shrine machine has double the RAM. And both are using AWS, Amazon Web Services, so I'm expecting fast connections on both. Let's start with the Air GPU machine first. So my Air GPU machine is close to me in Columbus, Ohio, which is about two and a half hours away. The latency is great. Everything in game also looked great. I have no graphical issues. Everything is set to medium. Now loading took forever though. No less than five minutes on every map. Now I play normally for about 10 to 15 minutes. But after this is when stuff hits the fan. Around this time is when the game would hiccup or stutter every few seconds. Imagine trying to line up your shot with this mess. Yeah, it's bad. And yeah, I managed to get some kills. And the wall. And to be honest, I'm actually amazed I get any kills at all in this situation. Pure skill, guys. Pure skill. So I try installing the game in our brand new Shrine machine. My server is in Virginia, and latency was still very good. It was maybe only 10 milliseconds higher than the Air GPU machine. Does it play any better? Yes. For the first 10 minutes. Then the exact same problems occur as the Air GPU machine. Hiccups every few seconds once again made the game impossible to play. I had the in-game FPS counter on during all the matches and you could see it drop every time a hiccup occurred, which makes me think that this is either a hardware problem or a bandwidth issue. They both share the same hardware profile, which could be a factor. Another thing Air GPU and Shrine have in common is that they both don't tell you that they limit bitrate. 20 megabits per second for Air GPU, and 15 for Shrine. Now, I don't think this is a bitrate issue, but you never know. Now, I tried this game on Shadow, Play Key, and Maximum Settings. None of these platforms had any stuttering issues, but of course, none of these platforms limit bitrate, so this might be a factor as well. Now, I ran another test on both machines with another similar game. I played around on each machine in Battlefield 5. I did have the connection icon in the top right corner, but no hiccups. Shrine didn't have the connection icon constantly, so the problem might be isolated with World War 3. I found this to be an odd flaw with these virtual PCs. Maybe this is just a fluke for this game. I did upgrade to the top A10G tier to see if this happens, and there are zero issues. Zero. Let us know if you have similar issues and experiences. We'll be producing more comparison content like this soon. For the latest news and comparisons on cloud gaming like this comparison between Air GPU and Shrine, like this video and make sure to subscribe at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.